Hey, what's up guys? I'm here today to show you how to set up your Assetto Corsa Competizioni in a way you can enjoy this game as much as I do. Um, I have been really disappointed with this game uh, since its release, but I think I find, I find a way you can set up this game to get the best out of it and to have a smooth experience and I'm gonna show you what I changed it and how I did and we'll run a quick test in VR uh, to show you uh, how the game is looking and how it's performing in my computer I have a 7700K processor and a 1080 Ti VGA card um, the processor is actually overclocked to 4.8 gigahertz on all cores but I think uh, even if you do not overclock the processor we will have a much better performance if you tweak the game as I'm gonna show you right now right um, I took some screenshots uh, for you to see because in unfortunately in VR we cannot see the menu of the game uh, while we are recording the, the screen, right? Okay, let's get started. Uh, what I changed in the game um, actually is, and uh, I, I presume it's the way uh, you can optimize the game to run smooth and to have the, the performance you need even if you have a, a lower VGA card and what I did is drop down the resolution scale to around 80% doing that you're gonna have much more performance uh, you're gonna blur the image of course but you can s try to sort this problem uh, forcing a pixel per display using the debug tool in the Rift, in the Oculus Rift, right? So I set the resolution scale to 80% and there are like five parameters. Uh, if you keep them as high as you can, you're gonna bring the, the best image quality to the game as well. And the settings are the view distance, anti-aliasing, post-processing, and also the materials quality. Those five items brings you the best image quality you can. The other ones are settings that actually you're gonna try to find a compromise. Uh, you can tweak them down and start to bring them up to a point you get satisfied and with the best performance you can. So basically those five being the highest as you can will bring you the best image quality, right? If you navigate on your computer to your computer, program files, Oculus, support, Diagnostics and Oculus Debug 2.exe. We're gonna bring this screen up. Over here, you're gonna force the per display pixel override to 1.2 or higher if your computer has a, a better VJ card. You can bring this higher. And also, I forced, forced the 45 FPS ASW enabled because, especially in this game, I don't know exactly, but at 45 frames per second with ASW enabled, I really didn't notice any problems with the image like artifacts or... Uh, two blurry images in the bands when you turn the, the car into a curve or something like that. 
I didn't see any problems. So we're gonna we're gonna run the game at 45 frames per second, not 90, as the Oculus Rift uses to to run all the games. Okay. As you can see here, uh, when you drop the resolution scale to 80 or under 100, the game do not allow you to increase the VR pixel density. So that's why I forced it to 1.2 in the debug tool, right? Okay. After you do that, I want to talk about something else here before we, we run a test. Um, I don't remember exactly uh, from the top of my head now, but temporal upsampling uh, is regarding to the resolution scale. And when you use a resolution scale lower than 100, you need to turn this on. So that's why I turn this to enable. And the advanced sharpen filter is disabled here because I increased the sharpness from 80. If I remember well, 80 is the, the regular uh, amount of sharpness. And this advanced sharpen filter only works if you have this to 80 percent otherwise as i turn to 230 percent i disable this okay motion blur disabled because we are uh doesn't work well with this and i'm gonna provide the the, the settings uh in a google drive link for you to check download and check uh in this remember I'm using the 1080 Ti card with a 7700K Intel processor. There are friends of mine that are actually running the game in a 1050 Ti card and basically with a constant or nearly constant 45 frames per second all the time. And now I'm gonna fire up the game and put my VR headset on so sorry for the noise that we will provide now but hold on a second there we go I'm gonna run a championship with some bots I think if I remember well it's 16 bots if I remember and I'm gonna do a couple laps just for you to see probably we'll have some frame drops in the meantime because the i am recording at the same time but if you run the game without recording probably you're gonna have 45 constant frames per second all the time i'm gonna put my vr headset on now there we go you probably are not seeing the screen because it unfortunately it doesn't capture the, the menus. I'm gonna run a championship in the Hungaro ring. You're gonna probably see the screen now. I'm gonna try to recenter the, the view. Stay double five. I hope you can see the image uh, with the same clarity, but inside the VR headset, very nice.
the hood without a problem. Is everything very, very sharpened? Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, I'm gonna quit the game now. Gonna take the head the headset off. So wasn't the the greatest racing you ever seen in your life well, of course <laughs> many mistakes and etc but it was only for you to try to check how the game is running smooth even with many settings on epic or high and i, I really don't feel any uncomfortable or any problems with the graphics uh, for running the 45 frames per, per second in ASW1 was everything all right and you can check for yourself if you have any comments any doubts or if you want to speak anything about what I just said here feel free guess your comment thanks for watching and until the next time have a nice day.